guys choose which products to advertise against in product targeting ads or potentially sponsor display ads, I'm going to show you guys a technique in this video that I would say 95% of Amazon sellers are not using. Let's go ahead and hop right into Amazon so I can kind of explain it. Now, one thing that I think people look at sometimes when they're wondering who to target is is products that are similar, you know, and, and you see that here on this neck pillow listing that I've got here, um, you know, in the products related to this item, almost everything here are similar neck pillows, right? But one thing that smarter sellers are doing is they are checking out the frequently bought together. So for example, the frequently bought together with this neck pillow here is looks like um, a 3D contoured sleeping mask. All right. So what does this mean? Like, how does something even show up here in this frequently bought together? Well, this is what Amazon's data is showing where people in the same checkout experience are both are, are buying both of these. You know, there used to be a section in Amazon called customer also bought. There's almost none of these. Amazon has kind of like phased that out, but the frequently bought together. It's like, Hey, I add a neck pillow to my shopping cart. Well, before I check out, I'm also adding this, this eye mask to the shopping cart and I check out at the same time. So when, when this happens more than uh, once, you know, Amazon doesn't say exactly how, how many times it happens to show up here. They're going to show it up and frequently bought together. And it kind of makes sense, you know, because uh, Amazon wants to, to get, you know, higher ticket items and sell or higher, higher ticket um, kind of shopping carts, sell more things at the same time. Um, and so it makes sense that they want to show products to customers uh, that, you know, there, there's this history of being frequently bought together. So, uh, you know, you, you notice that this is not even uh, a neck pillow. Right. So, you know, sellers for years have always checked out frequently bought together to get ideas on what to target for sponsored uh, sponsored targeting. Like if you look here, look at the sponsored display ad, the sponsored display ad is just another neck pillow, which is, is you sh it's not like you shouldn't advertise for neck pillows on your competitors, neck pillow listings. But from the sponsor display, from the product targeting ads right here, all you see are neck pillows. But you should also consider the uh you know advertising if this was your product against this other product here which is a sleeping mask because it, it's what people would use who buy neck pillows right you know if, if you're on an airplane and you have a neck pillow sure it makes sense that you'd use a sleeping mask as well so imagine if you were targeting that on this ad you'd be one of the only ones targeting a non-neck pillow on this so how do you find these all right well guys use black box product targeting. Again, this is something that I would say most sellers completely sleep on. So go into Helium 10 black box, hit product targeting, you hit that ASIN in here, and then you go ahead and filter up here for frequently bought together. And what we're going to show you is not just the one, you know, right, right now you're seeing only one product and frequently bought together on this page, but we're constantly keeping track of this. And so we have now in the last month or so, 37 different products that have come up under frequently bought together. And a lot of these are neck pillows. So what I would do is I would use this black box um, filtering to maybe show the neck pillows, maybe that I thought were worse than mine, you know, like maybe their price is higher or their review count is less, or maybe the review rating is less than four. But I'm also going to use this regardless of those things to find the different kinds of products. And sure enough, here you go. Look at this one here. This is a compression socks. That at one point in the last month, it was shown as frequently bought together. Does it make sense that somebody would buy socks and a pillow? You might be thinking, wait a minute, what's up? Well, compression socks is exactly what people, is what people use on airplanes in order to, uh, you know, keep the blood circulation well. So it makes sense. You know, um, here is a footrest pillow. Uh, here is a airplane, another airplane footrest. And uh, down here, here's a portable charger. Like, like that's completely different category. But does it make sense that somebody who's traveling might want a portable uh, battery? Absolutely. And then down here towards the bottom, we can actually see the product that we saw. Here's that sleep eye mask that we saw on the page. So guys, this is a excellent way to get ideas on not just, uh, to, you know, how you can do sponsored display or sponsored targeting ads, but also to get ideas on possible, you know, product line extensions. Like if I'm selling a neck pillow, I just had four or five other 
uh, I product ideas from this frequently bought together. So guys, if you have helium 10, this is a no brainer. It takes like 10 seconds to do. Take your ASIN, take your competitors ASINs, put it into black box product targeting, find out who or what uh, customers are buying these products with to have ideas on what you can advertise for and potential product line extensions. But even if you don't have helium 10, make sure that you have somebody going into these pages and refreshing it throughout the month to see what products show up in frequently bought together.